Suspended chords play a prominent role in shaping harmony in all forms of music. This lesson will show you how to play suspended chords on guitar and offer some tried and tested ideas for using them in your songwriting. First though, a little theory. The most basic definition of a suspended chord is where the third of the chord has been replaced with a perfect fourth or major second interval. For example, whereas a major chord contains the root major third and fifth, a suspended fourth chord would replace the third with a perfect fourth, raising the major third by a half step. This gives the chord a feeling of suspense, a more open and unresolved sound than major or minor chords. Suspended fourth chords are typically abbreviated as sus4, for example, c sus4, e sus4, a sus4, etc., all indicate that the third has been replaced with a fourth. We can also add a minor seventh to suspended fourth chords to enhance its harmonic effect. In styles such as jazz, blues, soul, and funk, the suspended fourth chord is often extended. One example of this is a dominant 9 sus 4 chord. Similarly, although less commonly used, suspended second chords replace the third with a major second interval. Like sus 4 chords, sus 2 chords have an open sound because of the absence of a third, although they tend to sound more resolved than sus4 chords. Again, we can add the minor seventh to sus2 chords. We can also add the major seventh to sus2 chords, which would have sounded perhaps a little too dissonant over suspended fourth chords. On guitar, the most common suspended fourth shapes can be formed by altering familiar major and minor shapes. All we do is move the third of a major chord up one fret position to get a sus4. Some examples. In fact, this alternating movement between major and suspended fourth is used in many classical and popular pieces. For seven sus4 chords, which is basically a dominant seventh chord with a suspended fourth, we again simply raise the third of those familiar dominant seventh shapes to a fourth. <laughs>
Suspended second chords can be formed by flattening the third of major chord shapes by a whole step. Let's now look at some ways in which suspended chords can function in our songwriting, starting with suspended fourths. Because suspended fourth chords carry an unresolved tension, they're often resolved to a major or minor chord on the same root. For example, we can use a suspended fourth chord on the tonic position to enhance its sense of resolution and key centre. This suspense also enhances the 5 chord in a progression, since the 5 chord naturally carries a pre-tonic tension. Take this sequence, with a sus4 used on the 5 chord. You can either hold the sus4 right through to the chord change, or resolve the 4th to a major 3rd on the 5 position, before resolution to the tonic. While the tonic and 5 chord are the most common positions for a suspended 4th chord, you can in fact suspend any chord. Simply experiment with replacing major or minor chords in your progressions with suspended 4ths. Remember, you can either hold the suspended fourth through the chord, or resolve it to a third before the change. Here are some examples. You can even play a straight sequence of suspended fourth chords for a build up of tension. Like sus4 chords, suspended second chords can be used in place of any major or minor chord. However, they tend to sound most at home in the tonic and four chord positions, for example in A major. In many songs, you'll hear interchange between sus2 and sus4 over both major and minor chords. Because the second, third and fourth intervals are in close proximity, any movement between them has a natural voice leading quality. 
So there are just a few ideas for using suspended chords in your songs. Visit the lesson page for chord charts and more ideas on using suspended chords. Cheers. Mm -hmm.